Now, the idea is simply this, that we will authorize for the next five years uh, an expenditure of $150 million a year uh, that will allow uh, co-ops uh, to make small, um, low-interest loans to their members, uh, both residents uh, and businesses. Uh, and uh, these loans will be repaid uh, through uh, their monthly bills. Uh, and it will have a significant impact in two ways. Number one, it will provide jobs uh, that will be very, very important to local communities uh, to retrofit homes, uh, to uh, make them energy efficient, and retrofit businesses as well. Uh, and the second uh, benefit will be in the monthly bills uh, that um, uh, people uh, who participate uh, will experience. We know that um, uh, so many uh, of the members of people who live in rural communities uh, throughout South Carolina live uh, in uh, trailer homes, uh, the least efficient uh, structure uh, that I've come across. Uh, and if we can use this program to retrofit uh, these homes, make them more en energy efficient. Not only will we uh, be creating thousands of jobs, we will, in fact, uh, be saving businesses and individuals significant uh, sums of money uh, in their uh, uh, monthly uh, energy uh, bill. Uh, I am uh, very, very high on this program. It is a very, very popular program. And um, some of you may have heard uh, there's a similar uh, program called Homestar uh, that um, uh, got a lot of attention nationwide. Uh, but those of us who live in uh, communities like the ones that I represent, we are particularly interested in focusing on rural communities. Uh, Homestar, uh, we don't have anything against Homestar. We're all for it. Uh, this is what we're calling uh, a rural uh, component of it. In fact, we call it the RES, Energy Savings or, uh, uh, Program, but everybody in Washington is now calling it Rural Star. That's all right with me. They can call it whatever they want to call it. Just let's get it authorized and show me the money. So this is Linda Butler. Linda uh, works for... Uh, Head Start in Orangeburg County. I won't tell you what she makes, but I will tell you it's real important where every dollar goes, right, Linda? Amen. That's right. And your home, I want to talk a little bit about your home and you, is 1,296 square feet. You live there with your daughter, Ariel, and I believe she's 11, and yeah. you've got a granddaughter, Tamara, who's four. Is that right? She's five now. Five now. This is unbelievable, Congressman. We did the retrofit last November as part of our Help My House program that was on seven different TV stations across the state. In that 11 months, in this small home again of 1,296 square feet, she has saved $2,575.20. That's an average of $234.11 per month. Not every home is going to achieve that savings. But the things we did in that home that dealt with weatherization, insulation, dealt with with a heat pump replacement, and things are typical to a lot of homes in South Carolina. Under your program, Congressman, if we could weatherize 225,000 homes in South Carolina, over the long run, we create 7,000 jobs in rural communities in South Carolina. 7,000 jobs in places where it's hard to buy a job now. Those jobs are going to be people in the construction industry that are displaced. When you look at unemployment figures right now, that's one of the natural places to go and grab employment. It's going to create jobs for people that have maybe never had a job before. They're living in a rural community where economic development just doesn't happen. Based on the studies we've shown, seen, these jobs are going to be very local, and they're going to be in communities like St. Matthew's, London. 
The other thing it's going to do, it's going to save all the families whose homes we work on, those 225,000 families, it's going to save them $280 million a year, a year on their power bill once we've got the retrofit in place. But it saves every co-op member money too because we're able to avoid building half of a nuclear unit. And that nuclear unit costs $4 billion to build and that's a cost that everybody pays. You know, when you think about it, this project makes sense. Uh, when we think about uh, climate control, when we think about, uh, when we think about uh, foreign oil dependency, when we think about the fact that people have to live every day uh, in the heat and cold uh, in South Carolina and throughout this nation, when we think about the, the opportunities that we can create in terms of jobs, this all makes sense. And Midlands Technical College is along, along, uh, Midlands Technical College, along with the other technical colleges in South Carolina, plus the community colleges throughout this nation, are prepared to do exactly what needs to be done to help people get their houses energy efficient and weatherized. We in the technical colleges and Midlands Technical College, we stand ready because this is what we do and do well. When this opportunity comes along to train people here in South Carolina, we can change, train them very quickly to be able to go out and do the construction, to do the weatherization, to make sure that all the people in South Carolina get the benefit that you have, ma'am, uh, down there in St. Matthews. So I am hopeful uh, that as soon as we get back next week, uh, we can get this uh, scheduled uh, for a vote. Uh, I've spoken to the president about this program. Uh, uh, I was uh, uh, spending a little quality time with him uh, out uh, taking in the uh, greenery uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and we talked about this program. He knows about it. Uh, he knew about Homestar a little, a little better, uh, but he supports it. Knowing the Congress as I do, Henry Waxman chairs the committee uh, that uh, is push, pushing Homestar. And uh, do you think that one of these would go without the other? Uh, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm certainly not going to let Homestar go without Rulestar. And I think he's feeling the same way.